are meat eaters, they're the carnivores of the bird world, and there's something in the region of about 300 different species of bird of prey to be found. And different types of birds are as many groups of birds of prey, too many to mention here this afternoon. But all these different groups have got different hunting techniques and different lifestyles. This is something I'm trying to try and don't want the bird to fly, is remove the hood. And do it like so. Here we go, so you can see what's going on. Now, how about the case with all birds of prey? Male birds of prey are smaller than females. Now, what he'll do, first of all, he might go out quite a long way, he might disappear for a few seconds. All he's doing is burning off many. Now, because he didn't come down when I inquired him to earlier, we're going to work and we'll let him have it. Going up over the trees now. He's only a young bird, but he's very experienced already in the way that he flies. I've had falcons who have taken years to get to this standard. He's learned very quickly over the past year. The look of the draw, as well as you get one that learns quickly or not, you're never quite sure what's going to happen with them. He's trained on really a food and reward basis. Every time he comes back, he gets a small reward of meat. That's the main way we train a bird. But the main thing that you do is take away their natural fear of humans. The reason that birds don't come to you in the wild is because they're afraid of you. Long distance to outfly prey, the hawk is built for acceleration over short distances. So having this long tail makes the bird very manoeuvrable. The round wings give the bird the power of acceleration. And this is for hunting in woodland. Falcons, like maverick, are birds of open countryside. The hawk, generally speaking, indeed. I'm going to try and show you how, or see if he can catch a piece of meat in the air this time. Quite a difficult little trick for him to do because most hawks catch their prey on the ground. There are a piece of meat in my bag here somewhere, about the size of a marble. I will launch it into the air as he approaches me and we'll see if... There he goes. And he thinks the takeaway, so off he goes. Oh, you dropped it, Rolf. <laughs> the great King George III was a very keen falconer. The Royal Falconers were very important people. They held a very high standing uh, in this country. The Royal Falconer had, whilst he was allowed to take his own cup or glass to the king's table at night. I don't know why it was any privilege, but apparently it was. But he was only allowed to drink enough ale. Boy. Well, I must say, that's the best flight that Rocky's ever done, isn't it, Rocky? Really did well. Now, Rocky, seeing an eagle, is very intelligent. Like all the eagles, they're very intelligent, but also like vultures. The best sort of terrain to fly an exercise eagle, as you can imagine, is mountainous regions. There's lots of hills and slopes for birds to uh, soar on in this flat terrain. There's not a lot of lift around here for a bird of this size. Wait. Can we go again?